Meet Marine One, the special helicopter that goes wherever the U.S. president needs to go, especially for short trips. In a world where the sky can be tricky, this helicopter is not just about working well, but also about facing challenges in the air. It stands out by solving issues related to figuring out the best way to travel and avoiding air traffic problems. How did this happen? The story begins with the history of Marine One. Welcome to Superstructures! The Marine One story began on September 7, 1957. President Eisenhower, staying in Rhode Island, had to quickly get to Washington for an urgent matter. The usual journey involved a ferry ride, a flight, and a drive, taking a lot of time. To speed things up, President Eisenhower used a Bell UH-13J Sioux helicopter operated by the U.S. Marine Corps. This allowed for a direct flight, making short-distance travel more efficient. After this, presidents continued to use helicopters for quick trips, setting a norm for their short-distance travel. The first Marine One, the Bell UH-13J Sioux, was an American helicopter built by Bell Helicopter and also manufactured by Westland Aircraft for the British military. This early version, introduced in 1957, lacked modern features found in today's presidential helicopters, such as air conditioning or a bathroom. In 1958, the Sikorsky H-34 replaced the UH-13J, marking Sikorsky Aircraft Corporation's entry as the designer of Marine One. The evolution of Marine One continued with upgrades during Carter's era, introducing the VH-3D in 1978, and Reagan joined in 1987 with a VH-60N, alongside with a VH-3D. These helicopters underwent continuous adjustments to incorporate the latest technology and meet the demands of the job. Cost has been a crucial aspect of their development. For example, the SH-3 Seeking cost $6.4 million each, and the VH-60N, born from the UH-60 Black Hawk, entered the scene in 1979 at a cost of $5.9 million each. Considering its role as the transport for the U.S. president, what makes Marine One the safest and most secure helicopter globally? Marine One addresses evolving challenges in air travel, including potential threats like being shot down or experiencing engine and propeller failures. Navigating through these obstacles requires constant adaptation and vigilance, a task executed by the elite pilots known as the Night Hawks. The pilots of Marine One aren't your average aviators. They are carefully selected from the elite ranks of the Marine Corps, specifically from the prestigious HMX-1 squadron. Becoming a part of the squadron is an arduous journey that includes a 10-week officer candidate school, six months of basic school, six weeks of aviation pre-flight indoctrination, an average of 22 weeks of primary flight training, and 27 to 44 weeks of basic, intermediate, and advanced flight training. Afterward, they spend six to 12 months in the fleet replacement squadron. To enhance the security of Marine One, all HMX-1 members must pass a Yankee white background check before being allowed near any helicopters used for presidential travel. This check is a thorough investigation for Department of Defense personnel and contractor employees working closely with the president and vice president. It demands U.S. citizenship and unwavering loyalty to the United States. The training programs are not easy. They are designed to shape the best into Marine Corps aviators. Only four exceptional pilots from the Nighthawk Squadron receive the coveted opportunity to fly Marine One. These pilots aren't just skilled. They represent the pinnacle of excellence entrusted with the prestigious responsibility of transporting the President of the United States. Marine One goes beyond skilled pilots. It is fortified with state-of-the-art security measures in the helicopter realm. Equipped with unparalleled defenses, it features ballistic armor, ensuring the safety of its occupants from potential threats. This robust helicopter is armed with missile warning systems, anti-missile countermeasures, laser-based directional infrared countermeasures, and decoy launchers that rapidly detect and neutralize incoming threats. Its communication lines are top secret, providing the president with secure channels at all times. Additionally, it is shielded against electromagnetic pulses, prepared for any unforeseen events. In tandem with its cutting-edge security technologies, over 800 vigilant Marines guide its operations from strategic bases like MCAF Quantico, often taking center stage on the South Lawn or at Joint Base Andrews Naval Air Facility. Adding to the intrigue is the security ritual. Upon landing, you'll spot at least one Marine in full-dress uniform, sometimes accompanied by an armed guard, ensuring the president's safe touchdown. 
Another lesser known fact about Marine One is its presidential shell game protocol, involving flying in a group of up to five identical helicopters. One carries the president, while the others serve as decoys, shifting formation upon takeoff to obscure the president's location. Beyond its security measures, Marine One is a floating fortress with surprisingly ample space. Boasting a luxurious interior, it can comfortably host over 14 passengers. Featuring modern elegance with light cream-colored seats, sleek polished wood, and shiny chrome or nickel-plated accents. A high-end lounge in the sky. The latest VH-92A model takes spaciousness to a new level, accommodating up to 19 passengers and flaunting a whopping 200 square feet of interior space. Within this generous area, you'll find a bathroom and a dressing room, providing a mini white house in the sky with all the comforts. When it comes to comfort, Marine One stands out from the typical helicopter hubbub by offering a quieter experience. While no chopper can be entirely silent, this one comes remarkably close. The usual helicopter noise is caused by aerodynamic vortices around rotor blades, creating that classic whooshing and slapping sound. Your average helicopter at 500 feet hits around 87 decibels, but Marine One tones it down to about 79 decibels at the same height. It might not be library quiet, but it's certainly gentler on the ears compared to the typical helicopter racket, especially in emergency situations when conversations need to continue. Marine One is specifically designed with hush-hush features that reduce the decibels, making it more conversation-friendly mid-flight. Now, what's the secret behind this stealthy science? Well, that's kept under lock and key for security reasons. Now that you know a bit about the aircraft, have you ever wondered about the sky-high bills behind keeping Marine One soaring? Operating Marine One doesn't come cheap, with hourly costs ranging from $16,700 to nearly $20,000 covering everything from maintenance to the skilled crew from the United States Marine Corps. But pinning down the exact figures can be as tricky as decoding classified intel due to frequent upgrades and varying maintenance expenses. At this point, you may wonder if it makes economic sense to keep upgrading Marine One helicopters. One might ask, why not buy new ones that come with state-of-the-art features and require fewer upgrades? Back in 2014, Sikorsky clinched a jaw-dropping $1.24 billion deal for the development and upgrade of new Marine Ones. This mega deal marked the kickoff of a massive upgrade to Marine One, swapping out the aging birds for six spanking new test aircraft. They were loaded with all the gadgets and gizmos needed to keep the Commander-in-Chief comfy and secure. This new batch involved sleek FAA-certified S-92 helicopters souped up with cutting-edge tech. All thanks to Sikorsky joining forces with Lockheed Martin. And it wasn't just about the hardware. They tossed in two nifty trainer simulators getting the U.S. Marine Corps in on the action too. Marine One isn't just a fancy ride. It's a fortress in the sky packed with more secrets than meets the eye. Its insane security makes it a top-notch protective shield for the U.S. government. Support our channel by subscribing to Superstructures. See you in the next video. Bye for now.